guys and gals, welcome back to another broadcast of the weekly with me, Neff. This article that I'm bringing to you guys today comes from World of Real. It reads, Megalopolis pre-sales at historical lows, $3 million opening weekend. And let me tell you guys, before I continue with this cool article, I am excited for this movie, although I am keeping my expectations very tame. I'm kind of walking in there blind. I have seen a couple trailers. I do like the trailers. The interesting thing about the trailers is it's a trailer that you can watch all the way through and you don't feel like you know everything about the movie. Honestly, watching the trailers, it's kind of like, what's going on here? A lot of fast cuts, a lot of different characters involved, a lot of cool visuals, but it doesn't give you too much about the story of the film. So that's what I did like about the trailer, but I'm going to continue with this article and then we'll talk some more about the film afterwards. Let me continue. We are 10 days away from Francis Ford Coppola's $120 million megalopolis hitting theaters. The pre-sales have been atrocious. Hopefully Coppola is aware of these numbers and is prepared for the absolute worst case scenario. According to the Flat Lannister of box office theory, they have never seen anything quite like it. A sample size given has only 239 seats sold so far out of 30,000 plus available. No showings have been added since demand obviously isn't there. Megalopolis awareness among audiences is at 18%, which is the same number as indie horror Bagman also being released September 27th. The end result is that Megalopolis is looking at a $3 million opening weekend. Lionsgate is having one hell of a year between Borderlands, The Crow, and Megalopolis. They might have just created the holy trinity of nuclear bombs. So that's the end of that article. I mean, for the most part, Megalopolis has had a lot of issues actually getting distributed. That was Francis Ford Coppola's issue. He actually invested, I believe, $120 million of his own money into this film. It's a film that he's had the concept for since 1983, I believe. So you're looking at a film that's been technically in development for 41 plus years. He invested $120 million of his own money, and he has essentially... Uh, just been trying to get a distribution deal and it looks like he finally got one with Lionsgate now like I said to you guys he invested 120 million dollars Lionsgate did a deal to distribute the film so they basically bought the film off of him how much they paid for the film I don't know how much they paid for the film if he invested 120 million dollars I would think that he maybe have taken a loss on that investment because Lionsgate is not going to pay him more than that thinking that they can recoup their money so if Lionsgate is dealing with a lot of smart business people and they, like I said, the article, they've had some bad films this summer. They had Borderlands, terrible flop. The Crow, terrible flop. Was it as bad as people said? No, it wasn't as bad as people said, but you know, the numbers don't lie. Both those movies were terrible flops. And now you have Megalopolis where you don't have that much press behind it. Not a lot of people know about this film. Like I just said earlier, you watch the trailer, you don't really know what's going on. Um, you know, Francis Ford Coppola has been around. He is a notable name, but this, this film does not have the marketing that you want to have behind it to get people to spend their hard earned money. And as you guys know, with cinema, it's been very tough for films to make money this year in general. And it's been kind of like that after COVID, if we're being honest. So to get someone to just go out on a whim and spend, you know, 30 to 80 bucks to take their family out to watch a movie that's not even for the family, especially at the end of the summer, doesn't seem like something that's really going to happen. Uh, but as far as Megalopolis goes, like I said, Lionsgate, they did give him that distribution deal. I don't know what they paid for the film, but I don't think they're going to be able to recoup any of that money. Even if they gave him, let's say $60 million, will Megalopolis make $60 million? I don't know. I think the movie's going to have to do extremely well as far as with the audience so that it can have legs and get word of mouth. I think that's the only way you can actually see it hit numbers like that. I'm going to watch the film. Like I said, I'm excited about it. Obviously, Francis Ford Coppola, the Godfather uh, director, a lot of other things, Apocalypse Now, a lot of great films. And so this is the film that, like I said, he's been working on for 40 plus years. You know, you could argue as far as from a creative standpoint, you know, it's his magnum opus. I think he wrote this film as well. I have to look into some more details about that. But when you invest $120 million of your own money, you just got to respect that he believes in his vision that much. So I am going to be watching the film and I hope the film is a good film. I think it will be solid. But like I said, I'm keeping my expectations for it. I don't know what it's going to be, but I will have a review for that film once I watch it, guys. But I definitely wanted to bring you guys that article, bring some awareness to the film. Adam Driver, Shia LaBeouf's in the film. Obviously, Francis Ford Coppola is directing the film. I'm trying to think who else. There's a lot of decent actors. Lawrence Fishburne is in the film. There's a lot of people in the film, but I don't think that this film is getting a lot of press coverage. And, you know, in this economy and the, um, the industry of Hollywood, 
press coverage and marketing is everything especially if it's good press coverage if it's bad press coverage we've seen what that does to a film no bueno but with that being said guys that's all i got for this broadcast like comment down below i want to know if you're going to watch megalopolis have you heard anything about this film megalopolis i actually put the trailer down in the description for you guys if you are interested in anything i reported on today but yeah comment down below what you think about this video subscribe share with a friend and as always be safe it's neff signing off